In this video, I'll show you how to add ETH to your MetaMask wallet. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel if you found this guide useful. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving it a like as well. Please do watch this video right until the end to so you know the four steps of going and getting Ethereum into your MetaMask wallet. And without any further ado, let's go and jump into this guide. I just need to give a quick disclaimer. Basically, I am not a financial advisor, nor is this video financial or investment advice. Please do your own research on any investment you make. As you can see I'm now in MetaMask and currently I've got zero Ethereum and I want to go and add some ETH to my wallet. So to go and do this is going to be all covered in this video and let's go and continue with this. So all you want to do is come to a search engine, so personally I'm using Google and for now I'm going to come off of MetaMask. Unfortunately we can't go and buy Ethereum on MetaMask at the minute so what we have to do is, is go to a central exchange buy some Ethereum and then move it from the Accenture exchange to our MetaMask wallet and I'll show you all of the steps. The exchange I personally use is called Coinbase and I put a link in the description and in the pinned comment to that site. Now if you use this link we both go and get a bonus if you go and spend over $100 or £70 worth of money on crypto so feel free to go and use that otherwise you can go straight to the Coinbase website but all you want to do is click on it and we need to go and create an account. As you can see, you'll get seven pounds and free Bitcoin when you buy or sell that amount. So it's a cool bonus and uh, we both benefit. So what you want to do is sign up and once you have, you'll then be taken to your dashboard. And the dashboard looks something like this. And then all you want to do is go to the top right where it says buy slash sell and go and click here. Then once you're on here, it's gonna take a minute to load. And what you want to do is make sure buy is selected. And then you want to go and click on buy here where it says Bitcoin currently, click here. And then you can go and choose Ethereum. And then you can go and choose how you like to pay. So you can click pay with and you can either use your GBP wallet or you can use a bank card or you can add one. So you feel free to go and add a card or something like that. So I'm going to use my card. So I'm going to click here and then I could go and enter the amount I'd like to buy. So I could go and buy £50, for example. Then you go and click preview buy and it's going to go and show you the fee, which is one ninety nine, and then the total. Then once you've gone and bought your Ethereum, you then need to go and open up MetaMask again. So if you're on Google Chrome, it's in your extensions if you're using the app go to the MetaMask app. Here we go, wait for it to pop up. Then all we need to do is go and get the address for our MetaMask wallet. So you want to go and click up just above where it says your amount of ETH and where it says your account. You hover over it and it says copy to clickboard. So simply just click and it's gonna go and say copied. And now we can go and paste this into Coinbase. So then all we want to do is go back to the top right where it says send slash receive. Then you want to go and click there. It's gonna take a minute to circle. And all you want to do is go and select Ethereum of course. So search Ethereum like this. And then you need to go and paste in the address where it says to. So right click and paste. Do make sure this is correct, otherwise you may lose your Ethereum. So you can always do a test send of a small amount, but you will have to pay the gas fees twice, of course. But you can just consider doing that. And then all you want to do is enter the amount you'd like to send. If I want to send £10, I do that. And then you'd go and click continue, and then you can go and send it to your MetaMask wallet. But you will have some gas fees. Whenever you send Ethereum on the Ethereum network, you do have to pay a fee for transferring it. And that fee will vary depending on demand of the network. But once you go and click send, within an amount of time, depending on how busy the network is, it's then going to go and appear in your Ethereum wallet. If you found this guide useful, please go down below, leave a like, subscribe for more. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.